Hi everyone, thanks for being here today. My name is Saraf and I'm a pre-doctoral intern at the UCLA Counseling and Psychological Services or CAPS. I mentioned in the past two videos that I know these are really challenging times in so many different ways. And again, we are putting these videos together as brief introductions to hopefully much longer conversations with you. In this specific video, I'll briefly cover how to practice setting personal boundaries in relationships. I'll also share resources you can reach out to if it's not safe to necessarily set boundaries. So let's start with what boundaries actually are. Um, this is just a definition that I put here, but basically boundaries are guidelines, rules, or limits that we can create to help clarify for other people how they need to behave towards us and how we will respond if they happen to pass or cross these rules or limits that we have set for ourselves. So for example, I might tell my friends not to contact me after 10 p.m. on weekdays unless there's an emergency. And that if they do contact me when it's not urgent, I'm not going to be able to respond until the next day when I'm available again. I know that sometimes it can be difficult to identify what our boundaries are. In these cases, sometimes I would say that it's helpful to use our feelings to identify our needs and limits. For example, I know that I feel tired after 10 p.m. and so I can help use that feeling that I have of being tired to set a boundary of not being contacted after 10. Other examples may include you, for example, realizing that when someone raises their voice to convey a message to you, instead of listening, you feel fearful and shut down or you want to attack back. In this case, you can use your feeling of, for example, fear of a loud tone of voice to set a boundary of, I ask that you soften your voice when speaking to me, otherwise I'm unable to fully listen to you. It may be helpful to set aside um, some time for yourself to name or list your boundaries um, in different areas of life. So your physical boundaries, your emotional boundaries, your mental or spiritual boundaries. And uh, some helpful questions to start with if you don't know what your boundaries are can be, let me think about what, what I can accept or tolerate, right? Um, and what makes me actually feel uncomfortable and stressed? And these questions can sort of give you some information about um, what your boundaries can be. And that knowing that it's important to give yourself permission to have these boundaries, right? Because you are worthy of them. And I always say that we, with boundaries, we can start small. So we can start with a very small boundary that's not necessarily threatening to us, right? Until we built up the skill to get to some of the more challenging ones. So maybe to start with, start small. And when you want to convey them, be direct and assertive, right? This is your authentic boundary. Know that it takes practice to build the skill and that it, we may actually need support along the way. And you may have your own examples of support, but some can be literally having support groups or seeing a counselor or a therapist, and maybe even having really good friends to talk about this stuff with. I do want to acknowledge that you might be wondering, what if it's not in my control? And this concern is really real, and I hear you, so I'm acknowledging that. And um, it's true that in some cases, some people will not actually respect your boundaries, no matter what you do, no matter how assertive and direct you are, no matter how clear you are, no matter how gentle you are, they will not respect that. And so that's real. And also acknowledging that sometimes the person who um, is violating your boundaries may actually be in the position of authority or power. So it can feel very threatening to be direct or assertive about your limits with them. You may also be living with the person who's violating your boundaries or who has the potential to violate your boundaries. And so this concern is also very real, right? And not in your control. So it's not really about you practicing. And I do also want to acknowledge that at times other may 
Others may actually pressure us to minimize our feelings or the, the harm that we're experiencing so that we feel a little disempowered to set boundaries, right? And I want you to know that in these cases, you're really not alone. A lot of people struggle with this and um, really want to encourage you to seek support. These are a very real part of life at times and that and know that you're just not alone in this um, and that these resources are available to you for more support. You can either look them up or just use these websites and get in touch with us. Thanks so much for showing up today and I hope that you take good care. Thanks.